hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome hey it's really nice to have you here so i've just made a coffee i bought some pumpkin spiced monine i think that's how you pronounce it syrup from amazon i'll link it below because it will change your life and considering that starbucks charge four pounds a pop for one and i think the syrup is like 12 it's like a liter bottle so you really do get your money's worth so i've made myself a coffee i'm in my comfy clothes and i am in my bedroom i don't think i film really like this way in my bedroom so it does go quite far back i really do want to put a shelf up there but like one thing at a time Gemma. so i have been putting off filming well not only filming this video but actually doing this task for probably about four weeks now like it's so bad but it needs to happen it's a really dark dull day outside so i'm like you know what perfect opportunity to sit down and get cracking with this video i've also got e-bloggers coming tomorrow morning i think at like 8 30 to pick up my things they do all the hard work for me they sell it all on e-bloggers website i'll leave a link to my page down below in the description box because everything gets posted on there and a lot of my staff is in such good condition some of it still with tags so i just want all the pieces to go to a new home so you can find everything there and then i'll just do like a swipe up link when the actual pieces are on the website and live keep an eye out for my instagram i'm going to show you what my wardrobes look like they're just a mishmash i've got summer things i can't fit my knitwear into drawers my coats are literally there's too much going on there and it needs to be fixed so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments if any of you have actually done your wardrobe switch over yourself you've probably all been super organized unlike me but today is the day that it needs to be done and then hopefully i'll have like a system going on at the minute there's zero method to my madness i mean i've got a wardrobe there a wardrobe here built-in wardrobe so i'm going to show you i'm gonna put you on a little time lapse and just sort things out so get cozy guys get tea get coffee get snacks make an oat milk coffee my best friend poppy actually me over a little care package today so i've got popcorn i've got chocolate buttons i've got strawberry laces if the coffee isn't hitting the spot i've got pink gin in the tea so first things first guys setting the mood i'm gonna light a candle i picked this one up from home sense it's shea and oatmeal it literally smells incredible so let's get cozy guys mm, pumpkin spice and all things nice i also forgot to say i'll be packing everything away in these like big plastic ikea bags i've got some of these under my bed they're great for storage because they're really big but also this is what i pack all my stuff away in when i send it off to e-bloggers so i'll do an e-bloggers bag charity shop bag and then i might do one for like friends and family as well this is my current setup so as you can see i've got like this is such a mishmash boots trainers heels bags i mean this oh my god just I, I can't even deal like it's literally giving me anxiety so i've got like fine knits like summer skirts autumn skirts trousers a random t-shirt hairbrush bags perfumes i've got a <laughs> welcome to 2020 mask drawer oh god like literally guys i'm so embarrassed to show you this like i can barely open my knitwear drawer because it's just too much so i need to sort through that i also have a whole bag under my bed full of knitwear again i've got some knitwear in here i've got like summer coals denim shorts like those can all go i'm not going to be wearing those like look at that for the foreseeable again all my jeans like i literally don't know what i'm doing with that and then i think these are just like random like sweatshirts and then the bottom is my loungewear drawer which is a mess and then tampons and sanitary towels and that mask does not belong in there so that's 
one of my wardrobes and then I've got some built-in wardrobes here so here I have like all of my beauty products um, I bought these little baskets actually from Primark because they're quite easy you can just see like everything that's in there but I'm gonna have to have a sort through that because I I'm reckoning there's probably some products in there that are fairly old again I've got some hair products that is just a mess I think it might be like bikinis like what are they doing in there Lewis's hair gel Lewis's deodorant I think those are some random PR packages that I need to like maybe post on stories or something in here we've got <laughs> gym stuff pajamas those all look like summer pajamas so i think they can all like go out or i'll have a sift through those and then this is like my underwear so i've got uh, are those knickers i don't know i think they're supposed to be knickers and then bras and then socks and tights and then this is just like some random sweatshirts i've got some pajamas in there so yeah random and then in here is coats like spilling out and then i've got some like random summer long kind of dress things and then like just bags like it's messy guys this is a big big task and then i think what's in here hangers those can come out and then i think here is like hats and scarves so i've got my gucci belt here it's annoying because these i really love that these built-in wardrobes hide everything but i feel like they're not really the best designed for like utilizing space and then lastly i've got this which like mess <laughs> that's like summer sandals boots like too many coats like trainers down here i keep my what you call it like hair tools in here in this basket and then like mess on the floor lastly i mean look guys this is like honestly i can't believe i've let it get this bad so we've got some like shirts these are all summer dresses and then we've got like some to be fair these are like transitional dresses so, like prints like this i'll probably keep out because i can wear those with tights and layer with jumpers i've got a random jumper here i think these are things that i need to shoot and then down here i've obviously got knitwear um like check shirts blazers t-shirts so yeah i've just got this little tracksuit on well this is a sweatshirt from boohoo and these are pretty little thing joggers with slippers but i think what i'm gonna do here is i've really really got to be super ruthless so if i haven't like say i don't think i really wore that the whole of the summer oh. So if I haven't worn it in like three to six months, six months is absolute maximum, it's got to go. So I've really got to be super ruthless, which for me is really, really difficult. I feel like I need Poppy here to help me out because I'm such a hoarder. Like the coats I really need to go through. No one needs that amount of coats. Like it's actually ridiculous. So I'm going to stick your little time lapse now, guys. And yeah, time to get cracker lacking. Where to go? 
o'clock and I feel like I've got my ring light on because it's just a better light than the light coming down from the spotlights up there so this is my other wardrobe so I've kind of um really done quite well I've got half a pile just down on my bed here going to e-bloggers and half a pile that I'm gonna it's like stuff that I'll just pack away and pull out again next summer because I got quite a lot of wear out of it also got some really cute like little cords that yeah i just hope that we have a better summer next year so most of this can come out to be fair because a lot of it like i said is like summer dresses like all here example this zara one i love it but it's so so summery so that will free up a lot of space for me and i think what i'm going to try and do is do like dresses and then all down here like blazers because i've got a lot waiting for you Guys, is this a keeper? I really can't decide. I love the print. It looks so cute pair of trainers in summer. And it's from French Connection, so it's like a good quality. I do also have it in black, though. Oh, this is why I need help. Okay, I'll put this in the maybe pile. In the darkest hour. I wanna come for you, I know you've been alone Oh, where do you go? In your head, in the real world of snow Oh, I know Oh, I know how you hate the cold Spend your life searching 
guys, this has happened. Franco Manca is literally like the best pizza. Look, guys, I am making progress, but my bedroom floor, I cannot actually see it. There's clothes everywhere. So these IKEA storage bags are amazing because they're really big, but then you can like squish them down. So definitely recommend getting your hands on some of those if you need to like store things. Also e-bloggers, that's what I pack my bags in. So I've got one big bag full here for e-bloggers and then some shoes that I'm selling. I definitely need a better bag. I think I might do an accessories bag here. So I'll transfer that over. And then this is like some of stuff that I'm going to keep. But I'm going to have another look through it and see if I definitely need it. This is my summer stuff that was under my bed. So I put like my swimwear and like beach cover ups here. That I've got from under my bed. I think it's autumn winter stuff. And then that's autumn winter stuff as well. And then this stuff on the bed is like summer keep. Summer maybe. So I need to have another sort through that. And then I'm going to tackle this here, which is my coats. But I'm going to eat first because I'm starving. So guys, my room and my bedroom floor is actually looking a lot clearer. It is actually the next day. That task literally took me, I think I must have started around 4.30 or 4 o'clock yesterday. And I kid you not, it took me up until like, I think I had a shower at 20 past 11. It was a big, big task. So e-bloggers came to pick up everything this morning that I have sent off. So keep an eye out on my Instagram and I'll leave my e-bloggers page down below because that will be updated with lots of new in pieces. But I'm going to show you my wardrobe. I feel like it's a final reveal. Honestly, I'm so, so happy with my wardrobe now. Here is summer coats and then summer clothes honestly guys you have to get these bags from ikea they're so good they just slip under your bed this i've put uh what did i put in here oh this is gym stuff and pajamas but like summer gym stuff so like shorts which i won't be wearing now and then these two bags i'm gonna take to the recycling bank and then i feel like i need to stand back so this is wardrobe one i've kept my shoes up there i've got my louis vuitton I'll show you these because they're amazing. My Louis Vuitton boots. I've got some snake print ones. They're like two seasons old from Kirk Geiger. My Balenciagas, which I need cleaning. My Alexandra McQueen's, which also need cleaning. They're so dirty. And then on here, I've got some going out heels. Like these are from ASOS. I'll link them if I can because they're so comfortable. And then I've got my bag. So I've got my, what have I got there? My Gucci bag, my Chloe bag, my Kirk Geiger bag behind there. My YSL bag here, um, my Prada bag, and then my Chloe little backpack. And then, oh my God, guys, look how much nicer this looks. So I've got a few little tops here and some bodies. And then it goes into skirts. So I've got a mixture of like dressy and then pattern and then like leather shorts, faux leather skirts. And then I've got all my leather trousers here. So I've got my H&M ones, pair of trousers, and then... I think a black pair of faux leather joggers and then yeah leather trousers a pair of trousers from zara i really really like these although they're quite colorful i feel like i will wear them again this is the first time i've actually had my jeans hanging but i really like that because i feel like i wasn't wearing my jeans or i i kind of need to see them out visually which is the whole purpose of having these wardrobes also these hangers are primark i think you get like 10 in a pack and because they're so thin they really hold the jeans well. So I've got, I've tried to be really good with my jeans. So I've got a white pair, a kind of ecru color, a stone color, which is a mum style. There, I think the Topshop editor. And then I do have three pairs of denim jeans, but one is like a high-waisted 90 style and then one pair of black jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna move this little perfume tray. This is from H&M Home. I'm gonna move that. So I just got my little bag resting on there and then here is my accessory drawer. So I've got my sunglasses and then my reusable mask because this is our life now in 2020. And then in here guys, oh my god I am so impressed with the coordination. So I've decided to break it up by like colour and these are all my neutral kind of knitwear like jumpers. I've got some polo necks here 
and then a camel jumper i've got some knitted jumpers so these are all along the same color palette i've got a cardigan here i think i've got another cardigan yeah under there as well and then like a rust colored jumper and then this drawer is my colorful jumpers got some recent ones got this zara cardigan i love this because the first attachable that's an asos one these and other stories jumpers i've got one in gray which is in the wash which i'm going to add to this so i've got a bright pink one this pistachio color they're 35 pounds guys i'm going to link them below because they are amazing such good quality and then i've got this misha lounge one and then i think that's old stradivarius my recent new in zara cardigan and then i've got an and other stories one and i think that one from last year i dug that quite a few of them actually I think that one, that one, and a few in the top from my where under my bed. And then in here we have <laughs> sweat like sweatshirt drawer. I don't think anybody needs this amount of sweatshirts, but I've got my basic ones, so these just like go with everything. They're from HM, so I'll try and link them because I find they're really, really good just everyday essential hoodies. And then I've got some slogan ones, I've got this one like misguided one actually all my slogan jumpers or sweatshirts tend to be from misguided i find the quality is really good if you size up i've got a christmas jumper another christmas jumper this hoodie and then this one as well which i have in white but i managed to like spill loads of food down there and it's now like my just scruffy jumper so that's that one and then down here is my loungewear drawer so i've got the loungewear set on that i'm wearing today this is uh misha i'll link it for you i love it it's so cozy just for lounging it's the clot style so i don't know how people feel about that but i really really like it um and then yeah these are all from last year to be honest that i got at the start of lockdown that's misha lounge i will link misha lounge down below because sorry they're not misha lounge they had a rebranding there m lounge I'll link them below to their knitwear and their loungewear is literally amazing. I've got this mango one, I've got a pair of joggers, this which is actually a navy cashmere hoodie, it's amazing, it's from Friends Connection. And then I've got some like little tops, like basic ones that I'll probably like layer underneath these and then um, my tampons and sanitary towels. So that's the first wardrobe done now moving on to this cupboard which was a little bit of a mess um so this is where i keep all of my like beauty bits so these little baskets i actually got from primark i think you get three in a pack yeah you get a big one and two small ones so i find that these i used to have the big drawers from ikea but they went really far back so they're great for storing stuff but it was like so bulky and i hated that i couldn't see all my products so here i can literally see all my products so this is like serums i've got some like retinol um this serum which is actually really really good um and then back there i've got some like micellar water and um toner and then in here i've got some more serums this i've just bought the rhodial snake oil drops and they are amazing so i'll link those below and what other bits have we got some nip and fab vitamin c concentrate this stuff which if my skin breaks out oh my god allies of skin is very pricey but it's such a good brand and then here oh i've just got these today so i can report back to you once i've used them a bit more they were on offer look fantastic um and they're the vitamin c brightening cleansing pads so i used them this morning and i really really like them and then these also arrived i got them on the the amazon prime day deal they're the elizabeth arden retinol capsules i love these obviously i'm approaching 30 now so i've really got to think about my skin so i've got my fake tan one back there and then up here still a little bit of a mess to be honest i feel like i need to put a shelf in here to really utilize the space but i've just got some like these are new in bits like from like pr packages that i kind of need to get around to trying i've got some hair stuff in here oh this hair oil guys you need to try it it's i'm kind of running a little bit low you've got to try this and then yeah i've got some face masks in there but moving on 
to this cupboard a lot more tidy that is my gym cupboard which was literally like spilling out everywhere so i've got what have i got here i've got some shorts here that i feel like i might still potentially wear maybe if we go into another lockdown and i start doing home workouts again um my house is really hot so yeah i'll probably wear those shorts they're bow and tee and then i've got leggings at the back and then the coordinating sports bras and then i've got like just sports bras i don't have matching leggings to at the top and then these are some more leggings these again are bow and tee i love this matching set so comfortable as well and then here I've got pyjamas, so these are shorts, and then I've got some tops and some night shirts, some short matching sets. These are Disney via Boohoo, so I'll link those. I think those ones are Primark, those ones are Boohoo. These are Nasty Gal, they're long-sleeved, and yeah, I've got long-sleeved ones. I've also got Grinch Christmas ones back there, and then long ones again there so i didn't have time to sort this out but i can do that at another date but this is basically just my like knickers socks i think thick socks and tights and then bras these are from ikea i find ikea are so good at like storage so definitely either order some online or if you go into ikea get some of those and then here i've got my gym jumpers because they were right at the back there and it was just so inconvenient so i put them there um, because I'm definitely going to need uh, gym jumpers now. It's gotten colder. And then moving on to this one. Oh my god, look at this, guys. I am, like, here for this colour palette. So up here is... I've got, a, like, a tote bag that I use often. That's actually my Gucci Marmont in there. Uh, my Gucci belt. Um, and then I've got scarves, hats, and stuff like that and then here oh my god actually you i got these from primark and they are the pink peony room sachet sheets and they make your wardrobe smell amazing so i just popped them in there they're like 150 and they also come in other colors as well so yeah i've kind of color coordinated my coats and jackets and then down here i've got boots so i've got these boots and then back there are exactly the same version in black so i'll link both pairs for you they're from asos and then these are h and m and then i've got another pair of boots back there um so really making use of the space in here and i love that you can just hide it all away and then going into here is more coats i have so many coats honestly but this was like stuffed before and it just looks so much nicer so these are my like my thicker teddy coats i've got long boots up here so my zara ones and then i've got some like western public desire ones and then these short uh ones from bershka i've got my stuart wiseman's in there um which I really don't wear. I might have to think about selling those because I just never wear them. And then down here, I've got... So I've got my steamer back there. I'll try and link that, guys, because it's amazing. It saves me so much time. Also, a really good um, tip with that is that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria on clothes. So perfect for, obviously, the fact we're in a pandemic now. I keep my tripod... I don't know if you see that back there and then in here I've got my tongs I like I just don't like them having under my dressing table because they look really messy and then I've got my Nike Air Force Ones and my Veja or Veja trainers so I'll link these below as well and if I can find a pair of these I'll link these also really good tip i got these shoe trees from Ikea only a pound and they look how like uncreased my trainers are i would definitely recommend i'm actually going to try and get some boot ones so i can put them in here because look these are like really crinkled um so that's my coats done i love that you can't see them because they're really bulky and then going on to my last pack wardrobe so again i've just got really nice clean it's really nice and clean looking i haven't over cramped it um i cannot wait to wear these once it gets a little bit colder but if anyone has any tips on how to break these in because they're the jaden doc martins and they still bloody kill so if you've got any tips please leave them below but guys do you remember what this looked like before 
like I can actually see my clothes. <laughs> It's crazy. So here I've got long poplin shirts. This is a sheer one. I thought I might get somewhere out of it. This is a dress from Zara. This one's just from Topshop. If it's still available, I will link it for you. And this is a jumper dress from Topshop. I'll try and link one if I can find one. Um, one from ASOS. I've got this photo of the dress from Zara. And then some like... So some of these are like summery, like obviously this is cap sleeve but it's kind of like an autumn print and I can layer it with tights and also a jumper over the top. So yeah, definitely more like autumn winter prints and then I've got some black dresses. This is probably one of my all time favourite dresses, I will link it for you because it's from... Uh, Lorna Lux's collection was in the style and it's still in stock. Such a good all-rounder. And then I've just got some like dressy dresses. This dress I must have got like three or four years ago from Topshop and I don't think I'll ever part with it. I love it so much. And I've got some like longer skirts because I still wear like midi skirts with chunky boots in like autumn and then this realization part skirt in case I like have a dinner party at home on my own. <laughs> um this tall skirt from and other stories and then down here again a lot cleaner i've just got some basic t-shirts so some white ones some cream ones like a sage gray black and then a long sleeve stripe one i've got my check shirts here i've really limited these down and then a thicker cardigan kind of jacket thing i got from zara recently and then these are also I've got one check shirt and then these are all blazers and then blazers, leather jackets and then shirt jackets. So that is my autumn winter wardrobe switchover. I literally feel like I've had such a cleanse and I just feel like now I'm like ready for autumn. It was just hanging over me so, so much and I'm so glad that I just like got it done. I just need to put those bags, those ones there under my bed and i find that obviously they zip up they keep all the dust off they keep your clothes in there if you fold them nicely so definitely i've shown you loads of bits you can pick up for like from ikea if you are struggling with like storage and things to store things in ikea is literally my go-to so i really hope that you enjoyed today's video guys do let me know any like tips and tricks that you have for organizing and switching over your wardrobes i just feel like for me it's so much better to just completely switch over because then i feel like i can just focus on that see my clothes and it just makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning and it's going to stop me from i just had too many clothes i just need to keep it key and capsule those are the two key words here key capsule autumn winter wardrobe things that i can just interchange and just mix in loads of ways so if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you very very soon in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye